So the third type of searching in Legal Server um, is not direct searching, but essentially it's using a list view to search for records. And we will kind of incorporate this into our talk about list views, which is our next section. Um, to do so, we're going to go ahead and navigate back to our cases tab to our main list of cases here. And this, of course, as I've mentioned, is a list view, um, which we can use essentially for searching for something. So in this case, searching for a case. Now, with list views, they will often have at least one default filter. And we'll see those over up on the top right-hand side here. For this particular list view, we have two default filters. So we've got one on disposition and one on office. So by default, when I load this list view, I'm only seeing open cases in the main office. Now I can change these filters. I can also get rid of them. Um, if I didn't care about the office filter, I said I just want to see all open cases in the system regardless of office. I can click the red X next to that filter name, and that will completely get rid of that filter. Now we happen to have only gained one case by getting rid of that filter, um, but if we had you know, 10 different cases in a different office, those would now all show as long as they were open. If I want to change a filter, so let's say I actually want all open and pending cases as an example, I want to click on my gray filter button here to open up those filters. Again, the filters that you have available will be different depending on the list view that you're looking at, but all of your available filters will be listed over here on the left. Now, again, I could take something like case disposition, and if I select it, I'll notice that we've got that one value uh, highlighted already. So that's how we know we've got a default filter there. And I can go ahead and also select pending. I can then click my filter button at the bottom here. Um, nothing will happen until you click this. And now I would see any pending cases as well. Um, again, we happen to not have any pending cases in this particular site here. So we can go ahead and try for open and closed instead. And now we've got a couple more results. So now we see we've got some closed cases in the list here. We could then uh, narrow this down. So again, if we were searching for something, we could open our filters and narrow by something like legal problem code. So we can say that we just want cases, let's say within the first 10 to make sure we gather some of those. Again, click our filter button, and we're down to the eight results that match that are either open or closed disposition and also have one of those first nine legal problem codes. And again, we could filter it down um, by whatever other criteria we want. So if we want to filter by primary assignment, and say we only want to see the cases where IV Ashton is the primary that are also open and closed and in those problem codes. Again, we would be able to filter down to see that one record that matched all of that criteria. Now, some list views will also have a filter reset button. Um, what that looks like is essentially this filter button with a red X. This particular one does not, um, but if I refresh my page, it will automatically go back to my default filters. Also to point out, uh, with our list views, generally we can change the sorting. Um, we can decide what column to sort our list on. To do that, you would click on the column, and you'll notice that the little arrow appears next to the column name. Now, if I click on that arrow again, it will change the sort um, from descending to ascending.
I could also click on a different column, like we go problem code, and again, do an ascending and descending search on that column instead. Two last things to mention about list views. Um, the first is that you can also always export your list to Excel. So all the way on the right at the top of your list view here next to your filter button is an export to Excel button. So if you need this list for whatever reason, you can export that out and have it handy. And then the last one to mention, we're actually going to jump over to our users list, is that some list views will also have a keyword search box at the top. Um, again, this just depends on the list view, but if you do have that, you can start to type in your username, in this case, or whatever you're searching for, and again, see any results come up there. So that can also be a handy thing to have on some of your list views. 